an hour jack. Woo! He is a big one. Okay, swam away. Woo! Hey, and welcome to Florida Fishy Finger, my YouTube channel where I take you with me on my boat fishing. And my boat is something I love. It's an Ancona Shadowcast 16, which I had built. And uh, the folks at Ancona did an amazing job. I'm completely satisfied in every way. Um, but here's the update. Uh, I would first point out that I added a few things. I haven't gone crazy adding much of anything because it hasn't really needed anything. I had to get the, actually had to get the pump the uh, bait well pump replaced, but you know, they break. We actually used it quite a bit. Um, one of the things with the bait is that the valve that drains, the that takes in the water right, right there is fairly low to the bottom of the hull, but since the hull floats fairly high, sometimes it's not beneath the water, even though you can tell it's, it's almost you know, at the bottom. So but sometimes it sucks dry air and I think that kind of burns out the, the bay pump. But no really big deal there. Uh, I So for we actually take this offshore fishing in the summer. Love to take it about 10 miles out, <laughs> which uh, on flat days, and troll. And so uh, catch big fish. And I had I bought this at West Marine. And it's a Smith, um, looks like it's like stainless steel rod holder. You can see it's got the at the bottom of the spot for the rod to fit into the bigger offshore rods. It's got a nice liner, so stuff doesn't get all marred up. And I just put it on there now. That was a big step up because now I can troll with three lines: this one, this one, and this one. When I bought the Ancona, I had them put on these trolling um, you know weld them on these trolling rod holders and I got this as a third trolling rod holder but what I'm going to do now is get another one of these to put on actually on that other side but just to show you here I'm going to put it so that it's straight up and that means that when I'm up on the pole polling when I'm up on the platform polling I can just grab the rod if I see a fish and cast on it and have it straight up easy it's actually you can put a rod on here but since it's so much angled away, actually to get it out of the rod holder, you have to go way out. And it's like, this boat is already kind of tippy since it's narrow. I don't mean that as a bad thing. I just mean it's kind of a narrow boat. So you don't want to, don't want to be doing that. But anyway, I'm going to get another one, put it on the other side. I can also use that as a straight rod for trolling. So I'll have a fourth one for offshore. The other thing I got was, oh, by the way, I like to leave the compartments all open. Keep them nice and clean and dry whenever I have it in the garage I keep it and try to really clean it and take care of it um, but the other thing I got is this cooler now my son convinced me to get the matching this is it I had it the hull done two-tone so the inside is is green and the center console is green you know, I've got it with the tiller on it, so you steer with the tiller. We've got an extension, and then hold onto this. And anyway, so I got this cooler, an angle cooler, and it is truly awesome. It's not that big, but it's perfect, and um, it's pretty expensive for a cooler. But it's one of those like you can, you know, like a Yeti, you can keep it forever. But you see, it's got those big, <clears throat> those big rubber feet. So we put it up on the bow and it serves as a elevated casting platform so it's kind of like the double whammy sometimes we even use this our live well I had this all plumbed as a live well I got your usual key to cast night in there uh, yeah sometimes you can put ice in the live well if you're not going to use it but anyway cooler with that provides you with plenty of space you can even fit we have a much bigger cooler that we put in here a big Especially when we go offshore fishing, that we can put kingfish in and stuff like that. Uh, 
Yeah, and the only other upgrade, and I think these are the three best upgrades for your skiff, is this awesome Garmin Depth Finder Fish Finder. It's been awesome way out in the ocean or in lakes or in the river to see fish and see what's going on, under, on underneath in the bottom. It's awesome. So The last thing I want to get, though, is a trolling motor so that I can fish alone on this thing easily. So get a bracket there. I'll take it back to Ancona. I've actually got to take it back anyway because one of these... Let's see in here. I don't know if you can see. You see how they're the rod holders underneath the gunnel. I'm here, and there's one here, but there's none here because it broke off. So I actually have. I'll take it back, and I'm 100% sure they'll just fix it. No worries. Under warranty. But when I do that, I want to also have them install a trolling motor, you know, bracket and wiring up to the up to the bow. My beautiful Ancona 16 shadow cast will. Look at that. Continue to operate well. No, oh, uh, the final thing is, yeah, I've been really keeping up on the engine, of course. I think that's critical. This is a garage kept boat, so it has that advantage, that's for sure. It stays out of the weather, but I always rinse it out really, really good. Run it, run water through it after we're done. I rinse off the whole boat and trailer, fresh water. But I also have had it serviced uh, three times, four times, maybe four times since I bought it. And I couldn't be happier with the Tahatsu 20 horsepower engine. You can't believe that you can go 28 miles an hour for sure in this thing, um, which is as fast as I need to go, really. Um, yeah, all day you can go that speed and still have a half tank of gas and it's an eight gallon gas tank I think or a ten gallon gas tank so anyway it's uh, an incredible machine the Ancona Shadowcast absolutely incredible so there's my update hey don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll be notified when new videos come out we're going to be doing a lot of fishing coming up here that's always true <laughs> I'll be posting lots of videos so give me your comments tell me what you think about the Shadowcast your experiences. Thanks for watching Florida Fishy Finger. Don't forget to click the like button, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thanks. Bye. An hour, Jack. Woo! He is a big one. Yeah, he swam away.